Hi everybody, back with lesson two. Hope you are going to enjoy. We are still busy with transportation and in this session we are going to have a look at can transportation actually become more sustainable. So if we want our transport systems to continue to provide safe and reliable and affordable movement of people and goods whilst we reducing the environmental impact, we need, we need to look at transformation in the transportation industry and it needs to move to a far more sustainable and environmentally sensitive system. So vehicle production um, industries are booming with the rise of every body, every person wanting their own vehicle, um, especially with the growing middle class. But this has a huge implication for transportation as we see it um, happening on our roads and around us. And as we move away from sustainable transportation like bicycles and public transportation towards a car dominated society, government needs to is tempted to solve some of these problems associated with transportation, such as traffic congestions, by simply building more roads and wider streets, which is not the ideal solution. This is only temporary, it solves the problem that plagues so many cities today. And once the city expands, it becomes more populated and more cars enter. And you're just repeating the cycle of the pro problem over and over again. So widening of roads and destroying of, um, of the fabric of the community and the pedestrian life cycle that used to exist is definite within the cities are definitely not the way to go. So we have to take some important steps to get to a point where we get rid of this unsustainability and a few of the ways that we are going to do this or try and attempt to do this is firstly by the use of public transportation, then fuel efficiency and technologies, urban design and um, denestification. Then we're going to look at consuming in local, uh, locality and then behavioral change. So let's have a look at public transportation. Public transportation will play a key role in reducing carbon emissions linked to industry. Most forms of public transportation, such as buses, trains, trams and ferries, still produce certain levels of pollution. But compared to individual mode, modes such as cars, they have, have far less of an impact um, on the person that is traveling. Public transportation reduces congestions in cities, it saves money that we spend on fuel and other means of travel, and it drives the community to grow and um, revitalize. It reduces overall oil, oil consumption, air pollution and carbon emissions, and it provides economic opportunities in the forms of jobs. So the environmental impacts are considerably less. Public transport is an absolute necessity in ensuring a sustainable future for humanity. And because of the uncontrollable urban sprawl, public transport cannot exist as an entirely uh, or an, um, entire, a good solution and only solution for convenient conveniency of not owning a car. Cities are expand, expanding faster and the rate of public transportation and infrastructure is not. Urban planners need to ensure that whatever they are planning around public transportation keeps up with the urbanization process as much as possible. Transportation infrastructure that is inflexible is often expensive and timely in construction and therefore not always the best solution. Bus systems will provide a, provide, provide a greater uh, long-term long solution as they are cheaper to implement. They operate and maintain and can adapt more readily to cities changing needs. 
than um, other solutions can. Having a look at fuel efficient technologies, now fuel efficient technologies are available, included biodiesel hybrids and electronic powered vehicles. And these will continue to evolve and become more efficient, reliable and affordable. And widespread um, demand for these will increase as technology improves. improves. It will become essential for fuel efficient technologies to become mainstream and commercially viable and outperform or replace the petroleum based vehicles. Some available fuel efficiency technology still requires um, you to, to take and to implement uh, some form of petroleum to uh, make the product work, to make the car work but at least it is a little bit more environmentally friendly than the traditional petroleum based vehicles. So the ideal situation would be to generate fuels that are carbon free and admit zero pollution during consumption. Hybrid vehicles, however, um, to perform the same, if not higher standards than traditional vehicles is a massive challenge. The widespread implementation of fuel fueling and charging stations for such vehicles are well underway, but definitely not where it should be. And the only downside to such a vehicle has been the price tag. But as their production and adoption to, um, to in societies go up, the vehicles will become more cost efficient or available to a bigger part of the market. Looking at urban design and densification, cities of the future needs to take into consideration the environment, the economy and social changes uh, challenges of transportation. Now the urban design principle of densification is one strategy that takes these considerations into account. Identification in cities has two major advantages, both of which impact uh, positively, positively on their transportation systems. Identification hinders and prevents urban sprawl from occurring that will reduce travel distances between home and work. Identification in cities leads to tight knit communities that can live and play and shop and exercise and learn within the convenience of walking um, distances to whatever they need to do from their homes. Now, while des designed um, dense cities make public transport more viable, while simultaneously reducing what is needed um, to get around. Urban design and um, can lead to cities of the future, futuristic design that needs to include the planning for this public transport systems and allocation of sufficient cycle lanes, for example. No carbon admitting modes of transport need to be given top priority and only sustainable urban design can provide this. So carbon free methods of transport will not be um, adopted sufficiently without proper infrastructure for um, for these types of transport. So they have to have entire lanes that have been dedicated solely for cyclists, for example. And many people will choose to drive cars because uh, cycle lanes are perceived to be unsafe. So the challenge can be overcome. Many cities are plagued by traffic congestion congestion and the fastest way of getting around a, dense popu a densely populated city is often by bicycle. So city infrastructure should allow for a diverse range of transportations and the safety of each of those at the end of the day. Consuming in locality, another way to be more sustainable. So locality means consuming resources and materials that are locally available. The most basic environmental benefits of locally or locality is that it reduces the need for transportation. 
fruits or vegetables that have been grown and consumed with close proximity of a community has a significantly less environmental impact when compared to the ones that have been harvested in a foreign country and then had to be transported to another place in the globe um, for someone to consume. Any cons uh, consumer good that has been grown, extracted, assembled or manufactured in a foreign country has created the need for international transportation. Now, global transportation networks is so advanced that it has become increasingly easy and affordable to transport goods across great distances. When products are locally sourced, the transportation and the delivery costs can also reduce the product cost considerably. Less energy and natural resources are needed to get the product into the, into the hands of the consumer. The concept reduces the environmental impact of every product and service that we use. Now, the important effect of locality, or locally produced goods, is not only the reduction um, in the impact of the transportation, but also in promoting local economic development. Now, purchasing and consuming locally produced goods and services allow for the strengthening of the local economy and social aspects locally. It is of utmost importance to promote locality as this has less negative impact on the environment and boosts the local economies. Finally, let's look at behavioral change. We will all face the same choice, choices with regard to transportation every day. Do we drive alone to work or to school or do we share lifts with work colleagues and friends and use public transport? Do we choose to purchase food grown in other countries and transport it across the world or do we opt instead for something that was locally produced? Now, the convenience provided by modern transport had ma has made these decisions easy to ignore and neglect, but it is the very way of thinking about needs that needs to be changed. Each of us has the capacity to help transform the transport, the, the transport industry in such a sustainable way. Uh, not many people are willing. The change their habits and take more sustainable ways of moving around. And even when reliable uh, transport is available and easily accessible, many people still prefer to drive their own vehicles. And this is a result of habits, of cultural value and perceived convenience. And everybody must understand the negative impact of modern day transportation systems, especially on the environment. Daily transportation should contribute positively to the health and to the life um, of a more active community, uh, so in other words, a more active lifestyle. If transport is becoming more sustainable, it is m much about the mindset change that everything, more than, it's, it's, it's more about the mindset change than anything else. And infrastructure can help or can be put in place, but it is ultimately up to the people to use them at the end of the day. That brings us to the end of the transportation section of Learning Unit 2. I hope that you have enjoyed some insightful uh, new perspectives on our transportation and that the, this will lead to mindset changes for all of us. Enjoy and I'll see you next time.